Hello everyone, and welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to center uh, GUIs. Now, centering GUIs may sound simple. Some of you may think, oh, I probably just have to press a button. Some of you may think, ugh, that, that might sound hard. Uh, that's going to be a lot of math. And some of you might think, eh, okay, the math won't be too hard. I'm sure I can figure it out. Well, none of you are really right except maybe the third group. Because it is math, and you should be able to figure it out. But you shouldn't have to try too hard. It, it should be simple if you just think it through. Which I'm going to help you do right now. So... We're going to first go into our storage UI, get rid of frame 3, and I'm just going to work with centering frame 2. Let's go down here to the size. So we see each size is 2 or 20% about 20 point a lot of zeros and then a 3. So you round it off, it's about 20%. I never really worry about anything past the 10th the tens, or sorry, hundredths place, or maybe the thousandth, the thousandths place. I can't say that. It, it's too hard. So if we know that, and we change this to zero, zero here, we can center this really easily by just putting point four, point four. Why? Because when you center something, half of the top half of it has to be above the center line. The bottom half of it has to be above the center line. The left half of it has to be to the left of the center line. The right half of it has to be to the right of the center line. So by putting point 0.4 and point 0.4 for the X and the width, point 0.4, okay, so we've got 10% of the screen being taken up, and then we go to the other side, and the first 10% there is being taken up. For the Y and the height, Okay, we've got the first ten percent or the last ten percent of the first half being taken up and the first half of the next half being taken up. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. I'm going to show you exactly what it does here in a second. All I have to do is press enter and move this to where you guys can see that is in the exact center of our uh game uh viewport, I guess. So here, you can definitely see that this GUI is in the center. I'm going to try to show you both corners here. And I can't really reach it all the way over, but you can see it's in the center. Now, that's easy enough, right? But what if you had a GUI that wasn't sized by the scale, but rather by the offset of the UDIM2 value? That creates a bit of a problem doesn't it? Now you're thinking, oh shoot, I don't know how to do that. I will show you. We're going to take out all of this. Okay, I guess it just resets itself to its last working value. Uh, there we go. And now we're going to resize it to 300 by 50. We're going to change the X and the Y scale to 0.5 because we don't know the size of everybody's screen how big they have the roblox window any of that so 0.5 by 0.5 does that center it no that does not center it at all here here should be about the center of the screen right where the top corner of it is but that's not centered that's centering the top left corner but not the gui component as a whole in order to enter it as a whole, we'll have to subtract some stuff from here. So, what? okay, let's try subtracting 350. That should work, right? Because now we're offsetting the offset. Well, no. You're getting the right idea if you're doing that, but now you're centering the bottom right corner. The real way to do this will be to change this to negative 150 so that you have half on top, half on bottom, or sorry, half on left, half on right, and this to negative 25. That way you have half on top, half on bottom. And remember, 
GUIs add the UDIM2 positions to equal one position. So it is now in the perfect center. Now, one more scenario. What if you had one value of your size, a, uh, actually two more scenarios to go through. No, I'll compact it into one. No, it has to be two. Well, if you had one that was offset and one that was pixels, just regular, or I mean, one that was scale and one that was offset. Well, that's not too difficult to fix. Let's make this the one that's uh, um, scale. We'll make it point 0.2. Do you see? It's close enough to the center right now, right? Yeah, you're right. But it's not dead center, and I'm a perfectionist, so I have to make it dead center. So we're going to go with point 0.4, and now we see it's dead center because the X is in its right spot, and the Y is still being offset correctly. Now one more. What if the size has both offset and scale to one of the sizes or both? But we're only going to work with one to save time. Well, that's actually not that hard either. Say we have a, X or a width of 20% and 300 pixels. You can definitely tell that this is not centered right now, right? Well, it's actually not that hard. You center the scale first, and then you center the offset. So, since it adds together, it is now in the perfect center once again. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I'll catch you guys later.